Hi everyone, welcome back to another episode on YouTube. Today's episode, I thought I'd do something kind of in the nautical theme um, or feeling. I've taken a sort of uh, uh, assortment of different blue shades, purple, periwinkle, uh, blue shades of flowers, and I'm going to make three separate arrangements that um, are going to work together really well. I found these amazing ceramic containers that are fish um, from one of, our, one of my vendors, and I like just the shape that it was, the mouth was from on top, so it, it, it auto makes me feel like there's like water coming out of the fish's mouth. Um, so I'm gonna try to see if I can duplicate that, that softness of like flowers coming out of the, uh, the mouth of the, um, the, the fish. And then of course we have these uh, twined uh, net looking uh, vessels that we found. And of course we have this ceramic pot that I filled with water. I haven't done anything with, uh, uh, with Oasis in this uh, floral foam in this episode. Let's go back and uh, let me start with these. I'm, I'm gonna take a little bit more time on the, uh, the, the water coming out of the, the fish. So let me start with a simple one. That's not gonna be complicated. I'm gonna put these aside so that the camera sees what I'm doing. And basically what I'm gonna do, the first insertion that I'm gonna do, it's gonna be an easy one. I'm gonna take my status. I'm not gonna do anything really magical to it. I'm just gonna cut it down to about right here. Simple, right? It's literally is gonna take you like about five, 10 minutes max. I mean, this looks already simple, easy. Now, I'm gonna take a little bit of this, which kind of feels uh, like the, the greenery from the ocean. Don't know what this is. Um, it looks like in the evergreen family. Probably coming from Australia or New Zealand. And I don't have to do it everywhere. I'm gonna go from the neck up here, down there, and just make it look a little more sea-esque like. So you know, it's just the texture and the type of uh, product that you're putting together. That's styling it and beautifully creating arrangements. Um, I'm gonna take these I love the color on these, and I'm not gonna get rid of too much of that greenery. There's that bloom right there. Look at that, that's beautiful. And all I'm gonna need is a couple of stems, right? Uh, that's, I would say probably like four or five stems, roughly. I don't wanna throw out any greenery or foliage. Here you go. Now I could go back and you know what I'm gonna do is once I, after I clean it up, I'm actually gonna take, I, had, I thought of an idea. I wasn't gonna use seashells, but I think, you know, just to tie it in a little bit more nautically, I'm gonna add a seashell or two in here, but I'll show you how that's done later. Okay, so I've got that done, and now I'm going to take some of these. I'm gonna exit some of the green from here. I'm gonna clean it off. I wanna see that true, really light blue colored flowers. I don't want the green to overpower it, so this is why I'm cleaning. These have a milky stem to it, um, so you need to be really careful how, what kind of flowers that they're mixed with because they could die really quickly, the other flowers. But look how beautiful this looks already. Just that little detail pulls it all together. I'm not gonna use hydrangeas um, and I'm not gonna use my other flowers. I think just like two, three elements. Um, this is just spectacular already in itself. 
to this one as well. Look at that. And that's finished. It's really, really simple and, and easy to do. Now I'm going to take the other vases. I'm going to do something light and airy on these if I can. Um, instead of massing them up, I'm going to loosely do a couple different varieties of flowers together. So it's a little more fun and loose and not so um, rigid. I'll do this one first. Look, it's very simple. There's nothing to it. Already you don't need to tie any other ribbons or add accessories. The only thing that I would do that I can, that I'll show you later to pull it all together, it's gonna be a simple uh, treatment, maybe tying in some shells onto uh, the, the lip of the, the vase. This. Like that. See? So simple. And all of this is going to all work together. For some odd reason, it all comes together. Well, it's not for odd reason. Obviously, this is all planned out in my head. I shouldn't say that because then I'm not giving enough credit to actually what I do and how much work I put into it. But yes, it is pre thought. Uh, the inspiration comes from all sorts of places and uh, you know this happened to be the nautical one so what I'm doing right now is I'm cleaning off my flowers um, all the greens so if that's bor boring you you guys can come back after I'm done you can continue to watch see all this green Let's take this all off and I wasn't planning to do that in the beginning once I clean it, I'm probably going to use about three, four stems of each um, flower inside the mouth of the, the fish. Got two, three more to do. I am doing these fish mouths and I'm taking the flowers and having it very tight and vertical. See? So imagine this is coming out of the mouth. I'm gonna tape it. Let me pull out my tape. I'm gonna tape this so it doesn't move. I'm gonna clean. And then I'm going to tape. You could wire, but tape is it's easier. It's, it's available right now. Look at this first one. You see, the flowers are coming out of the mouth. It looks like it's a water. So let me do the other two. It's crazy. And I'm not mixing too many other flowers. It's just two elements, two vertical flowers. It's much better this way. And I'm gonna tape this one as well. So cool, huh? And then I'm going to do the last one, which is the third. I'm going to take the other tape, this piece, finish this off, and then I'm going to clean the table, accessorize everything, pull out my seashell that I told you about that I'm going to use. You'll see how I'm using that. And this is done. See, so cool. Let me go clean the table, style this, and come back. Yeah, guys? So welcome back. I've finished kind of sort of putting it all together. Um, I've got a couple more touches. Remember I was talking to you about seashells and how to bring that in? I've got the hot glue gun on, and what I'm gonna do is glue it on the status, just like that. And I'm gonna do a couple of them so that from different angles and um, you'll be able to see the seashells. And all you don't even have to do it on the fish because it's already there. And the other thing that you can do is take these shells and right here, just on the neck of the container, 
it adds a little bit of um, interest and it ties in the look together. And seashells, they're, they're sold by the pound, so you'll be able to get a nice assortment of little ones without costing too much money. Or you can go down to the ocean and collect your own. Anyways, thank you again for tuning in. Make sure you, there's new things that we're doing and, and the first place we're gonna post that is in the community of the YouTube page. If you have not subscribed and this is the first time you're joining me, please subscribe, make comments, share the videos. Uh, and again, I thank you for your time and peace out.